This is Hannah Williams from Salary Transparent Street. We're in San Francisco, California. Let's go ask some people what they do and how much they make. I'm a consultant. I'm a tech consultant as well. I used to work in healthcare, but now I'm doing more tech work. I decided not to go to medical school, and then I was like, let me go explore other things, and yeah. so I ended up in tech. Yeah. How much do you make with what you do? Yeah, so my base is about 125, and then my bonus for this year was like about 25. I think my total package is about 150, but then obviously throughout the year, there's like more opportunities for bonuses. What about you? I make around 150 as well. My base is about 135 and my bonus is about 15K. I've only been working for two years. I work for a little more than three years now. Any advice for others interested? Maybe people who don't want to do healthcare, want to work in tech? <laughs> Go into consulting with like an open mind and then just really like kill it in your work and I think they'll give you the right opportunities. I just feel like consulting opened a lot of opportunities, especially if you don't really know where you want to be specialized in. I think yeah. it's a good place to like start out at. I'm a social worker, and I'm also a grad student, so right now I make about $40,000 a year. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Canada. How long have you been doing this? Grad school? Probably 12 years so far. I'm really interested in social entrepreneurship, so I mean, I would really love to, to make six figures one day. Do you have any advice for others who want to do this? I think if you're passionate and you have a kind heart and a good soul, I think anybody can lend a helping hand anywhere they go. What do you do? I'm an outpatient cardiology nurse. How much do you make? I make $52 an hour. I work in Salem, Oregon. Do you like what you do? Most days I do. Best and worst parts? Best part? I think getting to connect with patients and help them problem solve and provide some education for what they have going on. I think worst part is some of the structural barriers that prevent us from doing our job and connecting with people. A lot of that is staffing and just the way healthcare as a whole is structured right now. Is there anything that you think would solve this problem? Like I've heard staffing is such a big issue, especially like post pandemic. What do you think would help? I think that it's going to be really hard to address that without addressing our healthcare system as a whole and getting rid of this fee-for-service model that we have. So I'm a product marketing specialist for a cybersecurity company. From here or somewhere else? Montreal, Canada. How much do you make? 50k a year. Is that Canadian dollar? Yes. How long have you been doing it? I started in May actually. Oh, that's not too bad. A total years of experience? My first year. <laughs> so you're killing it. Do you like what you do? Oh I love it. I'm loving it. Best and worst parts? Best parts? Honestly the team it's amazing. Yeah. Worst parts is the technical side of it. I come from a marketing background, so I know nothing about cybersecurity, but we're actually here for a training, so that's great. What do your parents do? Uh, my mom is a retired teacher, and my dad is a retired attorney. How much did they make before retirement? I believe that my mom made in the 90000 range before retirement, and my dad, it depended, could be under 100 to over 300. <laughs> Let's see the answers. Attorney, correct? Yes, anywhere from 100 to 300. I was a uh, kindergarten teacher. And how much did you make doing that? She was right. <laughs> it took me 35 years to do that. I'm a founder of a mental health tech company. We help people know what to say when they wouldn't to ensure that support is immediately accessible when they need it. What's the name of your business? Can we shout it out? <laughs> I'd love to. It's called Vibe U. How much do you make? At the moment, I'm not drawing a wage from that, and I'm working a few other jobs yeah. to pay for it. I'm visiting San Francisco, okay. and I'm earning from some of my other work about 30k a year. Do you like what you do? I absolutely do. I love it. Is this your long-term goal, making this a big thing, unicorn? Yeah, scaling Vibe U is the vision, but helping people, more importantly, is what I'm focused on. What are the best and worst parts of your job? Best part is being able to hear the stories that people have experienced as a result of using the platform. The most challenging part is that it's up to me to determine how I spend my time and where it's allocated. You have a lot of people that are sort of riding on your shoulders and they're relying on you as well when you are founding a company and managing teams. And so dealing with that stress and navigating those challenges, particularly as a first time founder, is challenging. You're a young founder too, you're killing it. <laughs> Can you tell I'm young? Yeah, I thank you, it. I appreciate it. I'm a nurse. I own a trucking company. How much do you make? I make about 110. About 320,000 a year. How long have you been doing it? About 10 years. About four years now. Do you have any tips or tricks for others who might want to be making that much six figures? You got to put in the work. You got to think what you want to be. It starts with the mind, that's all. Do you have any tips for people who don't know what they want to be? You have to find something you love to do yeah. and, and then work progressively towards it. that. Yeah. Have an idea, take an idea, yeah. and work progressively towards that. That's right. success. What do you do? Project management for construction. How much do you make? 100000 Do you feel fairly compensated for this area? Fairly, yeah. What are the best and worst parts of your job? I love working with people, doing new things, new projects all the time. But some of the places that I do work in, I don't necessarily maybe like the people that I work with sometimes. But that always changes. Yeah. So 
that's not necessarily all the time. Do you have any advice for others interested in your field? I really like it because of like what I just said. I get to go into new places, do new, different projects and things like that all the time. So no real advice, but if you are into something like this, then it's a good trade to be in and good field. I am a tech recruiter specifically for data engineers at a data and analytics recruitment staffing firm. And how much do you make doing that? Base salary is 52 plus commission structure. Do you feel fairly compensated in this area? I do, yeah. Just with the amount of money to make with commissions, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so is that commissions makes up the most of your salary or just the base? Yeah, to be honest with you, I just started a couple months ago, so I'm not really there yet. What are your goals with your career? I just want to get myself up to a point of like managing and, and teaching other people below me and having just like a really good network. Yeah, just being up there and, and like having business come to me, being a reputable recruiter and being able to like serve people and not just be, you know, I think recruiters get a bad rep for being kind of like picking up the scraps and that kind of thing, but I think that it's actually like a valuable service. As a recruiter, do you have any tips or tricks for those interested in tech or in your field in data? Just get connected, that's all I can say right now. I'm, I only have to learn right now. I don't really have much to teach. At this point. I'm an actress. I'm an actor and I also do part-time work on the side. How much do you make doing what you do? Per month, I wouldn't say they're like there's like a regular base, but like I do pay per gig. Okay. I get like around a hundred and like two hundred per gig. Pretty much the same on the acting gig size. Shift lead, I make eighteen fifty an hour. How do you make time like ends meet? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily I still get like, you know, supported from my family. Hopefully I'll make it afterwards. Part time work and like I'll like school refund, I'll like parse that out like yeah. for like the semester and whatnot. Yeah. But after that's gone, it's just like that and like food stamps. What do you do? I am a practice manager. How much do you make? $32 an hour currently. Do you feel like you're fairly compensated in this area? Not exactly. What's your plan? I just asked for a raise, so it's a good timing. Can you describe what you do in one sentence? I manage a prosthodontist office. It's quite complex. Best and worst parts of your job? I get to work with a lot of different type of people. Yeah. Worst is almost the same, dealing with difficult people. I'm a founder of a small software startup. How much do you make? 145k. Do you feel fairly compensated in this area? Yes. Can you describe what you do in one sentence? So I'm CEO and the product makes it easy to deploy applications to AWS called flightcontrol.dev. Do you like what you do? Oh, I love it. Any tips or tricks for others who might want to be founders one day? It's hard work, but if you want to do it, it's worth giving it a try. Do you have an engineering background? Yes, engineering background. How long have you been doing this? Company has been a year old. I work in healthcare. I am a commercial real estate broker. I'm in fitness. How much do you make? I make 25 an hour. I make zero dollars, but commission. You made anything so far? I have, I have. Yeah, it's my first year, but I make probably over over 100k. Yeah. I make 24 an hour. You feel fairly compensated in this state. Are you from San Francisco or out of state? I feel like it makes sense comparably to other jobs and other salaries, but I do think that the work that I do probably could earn more. What about you? I totally shouldn't make as much as I make, <laughs> but it's really fun, yeah. You're benefiting. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I think so. I was doing the same thing in Southern California and making less, so I think that San Francisco wages are definitely better because of the cost of living, yeah. but comparable because it's so much more expensive here. Do you all have a dream job, something you're aspiring to? I would love to have a doggy daycare. That's like my favorite thing. I wish I could just like own a doggy daycare. <laughs> love to see that. <laughs> what about you? Definitely my passion is traveling, so you know, something that I can just travel whether I'm getting paid for it or not. I just want to go experience the world. What about you? I would love to work in live music and entertainment. I'm a software engineer at a large tech company. How much do you make? Total compensation before like the stock market kind of crashed, like around like $270,000. But like post that, haven't calculated it. I don't look at how much the stock is worth now, but let's say probably around like 230 to 270, probably like 230 ish area. Yeah, it probably hurts to look at it right now. Yeah, I just <laughs> act like it doesn't exist and I go about my day. How long have you been doing it? I've been a software engineer for about a year here in SF, but before that, I did a few internships around the country and did that for about a year. Did you go to school for this? What did you study? No, actually I didn't. Ended up just self-studying and going through the whole technical interview pipeline that I'm sure many people know about. And yeah, I ended up here.
Do you have any recommendations for what students, other people who might be interested in this would do? Like what course did you use? There was a few online courses, like one is called like CodePath and there's another called CSCareers.dev. The CSCareers.dev like helped me a lot because I was able to find other like-minded individuals like trying to get into this like big tech yeah. bubble. And yeah, that actually ended up working pretty well for me. There wasn't any sort of like school course that I took that could supplement that knowledge. How are you making sure that you're fairly compensated like in this economy? Yeah, so actually there's a website called levels.fyi. It's pretty popular within like the tech bubble and basically it's like an aggregate anonymous aggregator for salaries within the tech company. So you can like go to that website and look at like what level you're at and a bunch of people will anonymously submit their salary and you can it'll show like based off like what your numbers are relative yeah. to like what the community submitted averages and that's what I use. What's your dream job? Is it this? Yeah, I think my dream job is low key just like helping people. However that is, I think software is really cool in that you can kind of just be a force multiplier. So if you have like this idea, you can quite literally go and build it and like have people use that thing. So yeah, I, I like software a lot for that reason. And yeah, I can't really ask for a better job right now. I do agricultural engineering. How long have you been doing it? Two years now. How much do you make? 70k a year. Do you have right. any advice for others who might be interested in it? Just find something that you love doing in the field and just stick with it. Did you negotiate your salary? No, I did not. Did you know you could or was it just like didn't want to? I didn't know, but it was a good salary that they offered. So I'm a health coach. Okay, how much do you make? 60K in the Bay Area. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Two years. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you get into it? My own personal health struggles brought me to it. Any advice for others who might be interested in this? I would say just follow your passion and if you feel like you're going to make a meaningful difference, do that while also taking care of yourself and making sure your pay is going to help you live in the area you want to live. So question for you, it's so expensive here, how do you afford living here? We have a really good deal in Menlo Park, um, but I'm also transitioning careers to make it more livable. Are you going to switch into a different like field? What are you thinking? I am thinking of tech UX design and that is going to allow me to be creative but also live freely and pay the bills. Yeah, pay the bills, absolutely. I'm an interior designer. Um, I make about like 75. Both my parents are architects, so that's how I got into it. Do you like what you do? Yeah, I really like it. How long have you been doing it? Uh, for about three years. Do you feel fairly compensated for this area? I do. I definitely would love to make a little bit more, but I think it all like just takes experience. So I do agricultural engineering. How long have you been doing it? Two years now. How much do you make? 70k a year. Do you have right. any advice for others who might be interested in it? Just find something that you love doing in the field and just stick with it. Did you negotiate your salary? No, I did not. Did you know you could or was it just like didn't want to? I didn't know, but it was a good salary that they offered. How much do you make? Um, I make around 23 an hour. Do you feel fairly compensated for this area? Now I do, but before I didn't because I was doing like three people's jobs and I'm a temp, so I don't ever get a raise. I've been trying to find a new job, so yeah, I'm not happy there. How are you trying to find a new job? How are you advocating for yourself? I've been looking on Indeed and also like Facebook, you know, they have a lot of like connections there. I am a development and marketing specialist. I'm a research associate. I'm in human resource an administrative technician. I'm a distribution operator for a local construction company. How much do you make? 52000 a year. Nice. I'm part-time, so it's not too much. <laughs> how much is it, like hourly? It's hourly. It's based on how many products I get per hour, so it depends on my rate of speed. It's like $300 probably, <laughs> yeah. I make 53000 something. Oh, uh, just over seventy. What is the best and worst part of what you do? I think the best part of what I do is that I get to help my community. And I guess the bad part is, is seeing how lonely they are and seeing how all of these nonprofit organizations don't make a lot of money and they don't have that support to move forward. I like that I can make my own hours and it's really flexible, work from home sometimes, but uh, I wish I had more to do. I would say my favorite part is helping out our employees and I honestly don't have a worse part of my job because I love it. Since you're in HR, do you ever have issues with pay transparency, people bringing that up? Um, no, we just did like a salary adjustment like a couple months ago, so everyone's pretty content with that. I love that. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'll say my favorite part is just my job requires me to do multiple things every day, so I'm not doing the same thing. So I don't like doing the same thing every day, so I, I love that. And to hate, honestly, it's probably just the weather. Uh, like where we live, it's like it's 120, 125. You're just sweating. But besides the summer part, it gets better after that. 